y'all what's up so I'm here in all my Furby glory um, to let you guys know that this video is in collaboration with my friend budget Bethany and her channel will be linked down below there's a bunch of other girls hopping in on this collaboration I'm not really sure how she's planning on doing this at the time of me recording this I currently don't even have internet so I'm an outsider right now and I don't know what's going on out there in the world and I haven't known for a couple of hours so so assuming my internet gets cut back on, I'll be participating in this collab. And I think Bethany has like three, a few other ladies, I think they're going to do three. Um, I got one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I'm going to show you guys a quick breakfast recipe, something that I love. This stuff is so good. And then we're going to clean a little bit. Alright, let's go. What you're going to need? I feel like I just hit y'all with my introductions. All right, you're gonna need some cream cheese. <coughs> Woo! You're gonna need <laughs> a pack of sausage. I prefer Swaggerty's because I live near a Swaggerty. And a thing of croissant rolls. You're gonna not hit these on your new cabinet to open them. Oh, hitting them on my hand. Never mind that. They come broken in half anyway, so you just. You're gonna take it, find the seam, find the other seam, and you're gonna got two squares here, right? So you're gonna lay those down like so in the pan. Then you're gonna lay the other one down right beside it. So you've got this little square looking baby pie crust. First you want to cook your sausage and I forgot to. So let's cook our sausage first and then I'll be right back. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you want to make sure your cream cheese is more softened than mine here because <laughs> it's kind of like spreading ice cream at this point. <laughs> And I just bake it for however long on whatever temp that the can for the croissant says to bake it at. <laughs> so are you guys really even shocked at this point that I have all these dishes piled up? I had six loads of dishes to do this day. Like I'm, I'm tempted to go to a tech school, get my degree in HVAC or whatever it is, people plumbing, I don't know, whoever works on dishwashers i'm tempted to go to do that because i'm i'm positive i would get my degree and get it fixed faster than my husband would get me a new dishwasher <laughs> i mean honestly that is a trade that i would not mind to pick up because i mean can you just imagine your your dishwasher goes out and you're gonna call up plumber marina and like plumber marina comes in in all her glory with her furby shirt and i get stuff done like i think that would be a whole brand change I'm over here seeing dollar signs and, and plumbing belts when in reality I'd probably have my own show on TLC. <laughs> you know the TLC shows where they make you look crazy which they, would, it, they wouldn't have tried too hard to make me look crazy. I'd do that myself. <laughs> Am I the only one that forgets to tie up the bread bag so the bread that's closest to the opening gets hard and then you have to throw that bread away and you feel bad for wasting that bread? It's a mess. Feel 
bad for throwing that bread away yet you don't really want to eat that bread because it's basically a crouton at this point and who wants to eat a dry crouton that's really dry on the mouth you know what i mean I mean, I like croutons, don't get me wrong, but I like them when they're bite size. I don't want a big old bun to be a crouton. That's just unnecessary. That's just the perfect example of too much of a thing can ruin it. You know what I mean? Look at me pretending to detail my stove, knowing, full heartedly knowing that the eyes are smoking because they're so dang dirty down there and I don't want to take them out and fix it. Look what I've been working on, by the way. Look at this little shelf. How cute now. Look at this time I won't take it to the heart. Cause I know we won't make it out. I've heard it all before. Yeah, tell me what you want. Then me here, then I'm the only one. You know that we won't make it out. We've heard it all before. It's alright. It's alright. So at this point I'm over dishes and I didn't really want to finish the dishes but I, I was already knee deep in the dishes so I couldn't just turn around now. Like we were already in this thing, we wasn't gonna give up. I ain't a quitter. So we were gonna finish this load and then we had to tackle the dreaded crock pot which had seven day old hot chocolate in it. I had completely, completely forgot about red velvet hot chocolate. And then I was like, ooh, my crock pot, it's sitting on the table. Yeah, it was sitting on the table because it had clabbered milk in it. When you need, it's nothing that I can do. When you're walking in, I know it's true. I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try. Because when I hear your voice, my walls come. That was seriously the nastiest smell. It When I took that lid off, it made me and my kids run for the door. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out with me today. The playlist will be linked below. Bethany's channel will be linked below. All the ladies are in that playlist. Go check out all their videos. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are at. Such a long time